Hello YouTube, Ultra High Relief here. Finally, with the uh, we are going to try to uh, live hunt the six back of Eisenhower dollars that uh, we got at the beginning of this year. Remember, I got a uh, six bucks, and uh, we were hunting them to the years. It's been a slow process for for us, and. Um, I give you some results from the first box. The first box was very good. The second was was okay. The third one, the fourth, eh, almost nothing. The fifth one was just totally crazy. Um, uh, in the sense that we got nothing. <laughs> we, we got totally skunk on all the the levels. Um, uh, probably this is gonna be a little of a long video. I don't like to do long videos. Uh, I just like to do. Uh, quick fast with uh, as much information I can give you on my uh, videos and the hobbies uh, but this one I uh, promise uh, I, I promise uh, that I was going to kind of live hunt no it's not really a live live hunt on YouTube because I don't know uh, how to go on li live I don't know if I can go live on YouTube but I will be basically opening this back as is and recording as is and then I will upload it to YouTube um, and let's see how that goes we uh, apparently when we uh, started the hunt uh, we thought that we started with the worst bag possible and going up until the last bags that's supposed to be better uh, we were wrong I mean we tried to pick a boo tossing them around and, and see what what they may have and uh, we were disappoint, disappointed with the third, fourth, and fifth. Definitely the feedback. I, I don't know what we was. Uh, we we uh, saw on that one that uh, we thought it was going to be good and and leave that one uh, almost to the end. But uh, this one pr uh, promised to be a good one um, because uh, we did pick a bull like on this one you can see right away there is a uh, American silver eagle there I, I haven't seen that one before and when I started getting ready here to uh, control on this one it came out there so at least we know this one will have a um, an American silver eagle we know we have a peace dollar we saw it uh, and then uh, let's see what else um, sometimes you can tell by the weight uh, this one weights over 50 pounds the bags of eggs should weight 50 pounds if you divide 1000 eggs by its weight it gives you more or less a 50 pound bag this one weights around 51.7 so we are very hopeful uh, let me show you a little bit here what is the, the uh, that is the uh, the weight there and uh, 5178 I think so it's interesting maybe that's a telltale but yeah and uh, again we will not be hunting this one as we we uh, always do because it's a long painstaking process because we take every single like not just uh, not just by the edge I mean we we get bundles and then we see the edge but then we check every single one because we like to look for errors, varieties, and different days, right? But that's a video for for uh, another time to, to try to teach you about all that you need to look for when control hunting hikes. Not necessarily in, on bags because it's hard to get them, but uh, every now and then the banks give you a few rolls and you should know what to look. Of course, everybody knows about the Kino Fikes, the 1972P Type 2. And the 1971D friendly eagle, I have those, and I will show you in another video how they look really. And and again, but the first thing that you 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 uh, search is of course silver. Uh, we have found always uh, uh, American silver eagle, peace dollar, Morgan dollars, fake dollars, fake Morgan, fake peace, uh, for gain silver, Mexican silver. Uh, but it's not a get rich. I mean, it's very, very uh, painstaking process. Uh, these bags are heavy. The banks don't want to give it to you. And you have to carry them. And then you have to, you know, uh, return them and all that. So it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough. But it's fun. It's fun. If you have time, try it out. Find a, a bank that works for you. 
and uh, with you and, 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 and you will see. But anyhow, so let's go ahead and open this one. And again, I will be just uh, taking bundles of eggs and show you the edge and just search for uh, silver. And then uh, off camera, I will be looking at each of the eggs to again, look for all the errors because there are too many errors that you can look for and funny things. And of course, any mean state egg, right? But uh, let's go and open it with these scissors here. And let's see how that goes. Uh, I don't know, uh, you got the camera? Uh, there you go, here. Yep, yep, yep. And there we go. Uh, again, if you can uh, get hold of bags of eggs, it's a lot of fun. A lot of work too, and it's, it's cumbersome because it's heavy and you know you need to find out what to do with them usually return them to the bank but anyhow oh look right away here is a uh see uh, i don't know if it's a silver proof but this a proof let me see the edge like this one where is the camera this is a 1974 uh clad proof uh interesting i didn't see this one uh when we were tossing it it's in all right shape uh, this should not be circulating because this one were issued only on um, min sets in uh, clad proof sets. It's a, a black black box set. But there you go, the first hike. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry that uh, I promised to to get bundles and just look for for the edge. But hey, it was there. It was there. So. That's a nice proof. I need to put uh, uh, everything from this back aside. Anyhow, I was going to show you the American Silver Eagle that we saw right away, and then we're going to start doing the the uh, bundle of ice. I guess I lost the American Silver Eagle, so I don't know where is it. It will it will pop out. So again, you just check like this. And uh, you know what? I need to put my headlamp. If you use a headlamp, it's easier because you can detect the uh, the silver edge of the eggs and all that. Uh, give me a second. I see the American Silver Eagle there. Uh, give me a second to put a uh, headlamp. The headlamp is very helpful to make the silver shine. Uh, wrong, wrong color. There you go. There you go. Now we're cooking. So again, uh, you do it like this. And huh, I need to focus a little better here. Sorry if I'm gonna move this one more, but there you go. Yep, just to show you. Uh, I don't see any silver here. Oh, this one looks shiny. Sometimes they are proof. Nope, just a, a bicentennial. Oh, you're gonna find everything. You're gonna find a lot of stuff. But anyhow, we will not. Uh... Oh, this is a Type One D. This is this is the Type One Eisenhower dollar the chunky letters and again uh, see my OCD uses are taking me to uh, ins inspect every every single like <laughs> but no 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 okay so no no silver here I need to start uh, dumping them somewhere let me see how am I gonna do that and uh, I don't know how am I gonna do this but um, for the time being in a second Alright, I'm gonna be using this bucket here because I need to inspect them. Sorry, give me a second. Alright, I wasn't. You can tell I wasn't well prepared, but anyhow, that's the first bundle. And let's take out this uh, American Silver Eagle here. There you go. There you go. It's a 2000 and what? Four. 2004 American Silver Eagle. You need to test them. With the magnet first and then wait because you can get a lot of fakes. Let's see. Doesn't stick. Sounds like silver. We can wait it later. But there you go, an American silver eagle in the back of eggs. So that's that's a telltale. And this bag looks good. It's all beat up. But anyhow, so let's start getting bundles. Let's see. There you go. So you don't see anything here, right? Nope. Oh. I want to go to through each hike. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you can get uh, close to mean state, mean state uh, uh, dollars, 
but usually they will be all beat up but again uh, you need to look for the 73 and all that uh, no silver on this one okay another bundle let's see how that goes uh, well, this is gonna be a big chunk big chunk and let's see do you see something there nope now the 40 percent silver eggs these uh, uncirculated not the proof they're tricky sometimes they hide but uh, right away you still can can tell but then no silver here so you can do a quick to see what else is there uh but nope no silver there and let's see okay let's see what else mm -hmm. we don't see anything there. some beat up bikes like this one sometimes people play with them or try to do different things i still haven't found the um cia ike there, uh, there is a, an ike that the cia used to uh to uh to have and to use them as a uh, secret uh for transporting secrets it's like a magician coin you can open it uh but uh sometimes i, I suspect of these ones that look funny uh, you need to weigh them and find out. This one looks funny, actually. So, anyhow, but I don't know if they did something. But, well, not silver. So, right now, we're trying to focus on silver. But, again, yeah, you, you look for everything. You look for that CIA Ike that I haven't found. Silver, of course. And right away, not silver. The, the silver proof. The silver uncirculated. The flat proof. And then all the varieties again the king of Ike, 1972p the friendly eagle and then all their uh, double dice and know uh, peg legs and all type of errors so let's see what do we have here um nope i don't know this one this one looks funny here what is this is this id I need to check, uh, let me see, this is a D, okay, so now, see, that's why they call the, the eggs the tricky eggs, uh, what is it? because sometimes they can, they can look like it's, it's silver, and nope, 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 silver, so, again, we are not even looking for the 73's P and D, the 73's P and D is a low mintage year for the eggs, they usually, did uh, over 12 million up to 100 million in the bicentennial. The bicentennial is the most common of the Ikes. Uh, but the 73, because there wasn't demand for the Ikes, uh, the mint decided to just put them in mint sets. You can still find them around for around $10, $15, and $20. And in mint state, it's interesting. But uh, yeah, no silver there, so uh, I was expecting to have more silver by now, but you know, that's how it goes. Oh, I see something here. Uh, I, uh, this is A, again, this is the type 1 uh, chunky letters by Centennial Eisenhower, but the one that you want is the type 1 P. That's the, the, uh, the scarce one, not the D. The D... Type 1 and 2 are not scarce, and the P type 2 is not scarce, but the type 1 P. Let's see if this is a P. No, this is a D. But you can tell the chunky letters. So you need these chunky letters with no mean mark. So the P, that's the one that you want to find. Anyhow, let's see here. Uh, oh, I need another headlamp. This one doesn't have enough batteries. Nope. I don't see no silver here. Proof, I don't know. But not finding anything yet. Only that American silver eagle, that was one. Uh, let's see. 
Let's see here. Uh, what do we find here? Um, this one looks funny. I mean, just looks like in good shape. 78 in all right shape and circulated. I don't think it's worth uh, sending for grading, but yeah, close to AU58. Anyhow, I need to look for them for a lot of errors that exist on the ice. Uh, again, no silver. See, so it's a lot of uh, work, but let's keep let's keep uh, checking. Oh, I see another chunky uh, at the. Uh, also, there are a few. Um, of metal uh, errors on the ice, the 1974D and the 1977D. There it says that, that there is silver ice on those. I never have found that unicorn, but you need to look for the 1974D on, in silver and 77D. It will be awesome to find one of those. Uh, again, I don't see no silver. And my headlamp is not that good. Um, yep, nothing, nothing there. Oh, well, let me change a headlamp because this one is not working very good. Let me see if this one has some power. We're gonna find out soon. Let's see, let's see, this one, aha. Uh -huh. Let's see how, how this one lasts, how long. Okay, another bunch. Uh, now I can see. You can see too. Um, and right away you can tell if you have silver or no. Basically right away. But let's see how you look. Oh. This one that looks more shiny usually are bicentennials. Or are proof or are 78 that are in better condition. We're going to find out like this one. Let's see what is this one. See? It's a bicentennial. And it's a type 1. Is it a P or a D? Oh, there you go. It's a P. This is the one that you look for. It's a scarce. Of course, it's not in mean state, but this is the bicentennial type 1 chunky letters P. This was only in the, uh, uh, like the 73s in mean states. In the 1975 mean states from the uh, US Mint. There you go, the type 1 chunky letters. And no mean mark. This is the one that you look for. This one is like around 10 to $20. But yeah, you always want to look for uh, one of those. Uh, and then, let's see. So I told you that one. I see another one. This one looks in okay condition. This is 74, nothing special on that one. And what about this shiny one? And see, again, my OCD uses stop me to choose series as a silver box. Uh, again, it was another bicentennial. This is a P type 2. There you go. Let me put you both. Uh, there you go. Both. So you can learn. Let me see. There you go. So to my right is the bicentennial type 1 with the chunky letters. P. Because it doesn't have a mean mark. That's, this is the scarce one. This is a bicentennial type 2. And it's a P. But this is not scarce. Both are P's. This is the type 2. The uh, thin letters. This is the type 1. This is the one you want. The type 1 Philadelphia. Not the type 1D. Because the type 1D is uh, not scarce too. Just the one without mean mark. With the chunky letters. The fat letters. That is the one that you want. So anyhow, that's a good find. But again, I promised to just look for as a uh, silver bug and uh, my OCD uses don't let me uh, move along faster. But um, as long as you can learn something or get out of this long video, uh, it's fine with me. Anyhow, uh, so we were looking at this one and I don't see any, 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 any silver at all. So this one goes there. Huh. Okay. And then I have uh, uh, some fellow uh, collectors that <laughs> grill me because they say that how I can last forever with a box of 
half dollars or a bag of Eisenhower dollars without opening them and search them. And they cannot uh, wait that long. Again, no silver. There is a shiny one. Again, it could be a proof. It could be a 78 or bicentennials usually. See, again, another bicentennial. For some reason, the bicentennials always shine. It's a type 2. Type 2D. And there you go. No silver. And usually, that's how you look. I mean, if you just want to look for silver, well, it's faster. But that's why I take forever on trying to finish the hunts and and doing the return and trying to order more because we we inspect each egg because we like to learn and uh, i don't know we just love to to look for stuff on on the eggs again no more silver here so so far it's been a disappointing bag because i thought uh as for now we should be pulling more more silver only that american silver eagle that we didn't see when we were tossing the bag around uh, I will need to check for those 70 twisters. Anyhow, uh, there you go. Another bunch here. Let's see what we got. Uh, and they are uh, all beat up, but uh, they are not in the mean state. Uh, every now and then, probably once a year, I get a bag that the eggs look good and, and I get a few. Uh, Mean state examples, another probably bicentennial on this one. Nope. Oh, this one looks good. Oh, this is a proof. 77. 77 proof, see? I'll be up. Shouldn't be there, but is there. Uh, again, uh, no silver. This one looks silver, but no. No silver, again. So let me uh, show you uh, one or two examples that... Uh, I have found coin roll hunting that they look in pretty okay condition. Uh, let me see. Yep, like these ones. I have a few more of those, but these ones. I have found coin roll hunting and they look pretty good. I mean, probably mean state 60, 61. So, but uh, above uh, the average that you will find on these bags, this one is tone, pretty, pretty, pretty good uh, tone that it has. So I like that one. Uh, and again, yeah, it's not that frequent that you find this good of examples. Even with some luster, you move them, you can see the luster. So it's good, but uh, not often, not often, usually. You will find them as you are seeing them here, all speed up, full of gunk and all that. So, anyhow, let's get another bundle so you don't get bored. I'm trying to move as quickly as possible to finish this. And actually, I will not do the whole bag because my assistant told me that I need to leave some for, for them. So again, no silver. Some shiny ones, another the bicentennials, the bicentennials all the way shine, and a 74. Not in bad shape, but again, I'm not looking for any errors right now or different dates. Uh, well, let's keep digging a little bit more and let's see what else what we can find. Uh, so far, the weight is deceiving me because. The mark weight says that should be more here. Again, I don't see no silver. Right? And again, I want to pull the shiny ones always. And another bicentennial. Type 2. Anyhow, no silver. Oh, okay. And this is how it goes. The front of pikes. Again, if you just look for silver, boom, boom, boom. Try to return them. Try to sell some. Uh, pay with uh, pay stuff with some and then I don't know give a few to someone and that's how it goes and then return again no silver a few beautiful ones uh, I always need to pull one another bicentennial type 2 yep uh, okay so hmm. I thought I just have found at least a modern or piece by now, but look. Ooh, now we see something. Do you see that? 
There you go. What do you think is that? Uh, definitely, uh, that looks to me as a silver eye. It doesn't look Morgan or Peace, but we're gonna pull that one, and it's the only one on this bundle. You see it? Yeah, to me, it's gonna be a silver eye. Uh, the Morgans and Peace looks a little different. Although, you know what? The silver eye sometimes has the copper. It looks blackish or chocolatey. <laughs> I don't know, I'm confused now uh, what it could be it's not an American Silver Eagle because the American Silver Eagles are bigger than the, than the Ike so it will, you can tell right away right uh, yeah, I think it's um, I'm gonna change it to a peace dollar <laughs> let's see, what is it let's see what is it what? Oh, this is a fake. Oh, what? Oh, it's a 1971 uh, uncirculated blue eye. This is a blue eye. Yep. It's a blue eye. There you go. You can see it. Where is the lens? 1971. Let me confirm the S. Yep. There you go. Oh, imagine if this was a 1973... Yes. Well, it's anyway. This is the, these are the uncirculated business strike blue eye blue pack eyes. They shouldn't be circulating, but you know, grandkids or whatever breaks uh, grandpa collections or whatever, and they spend them. It's forty percent silver blue eye all beat up. Nothing special. Uh, there is uh, some errors too that you need to look for, but this one looks just fine. But anyhow, yep. Yeah. So it's a 1971 uncirculated business strike blue pack. Okay, there you have it. There you have it. Beautiful. So we're going to set that one aside. There you go. That's, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. We are getting deeper into the bag. Um, so good. Let's see what else. Let's get another bundle. Probably a few more scoops. Let's see. Oh. What do we have here again? You see, you can see there. Yep, probably another Ike. Let's see. Yep, and this is another blue pack eye in 1971. Another one. So we have the American Silver Eagle. And two. You can hear 1971S. Just for curious, you need to put the magnet just in case. But usually they don't fake uh, Ikes because they're cheap. They just try to fake everything else. So two blue Ikes and an American Silver Eagle. So that's good. That's good. And again, no more here. And nothing here, right? Another. Oh, this one looks all right. 1971P. No, the... Yep. Other thing that you need to look uh, again. Now I'm deviating. Uh, is this the talon head? Let me see if I can. How can we do this? Where is the lens? I'm lost. Okay. The talon head on Ike. I don't know if you can see it. Right above uh, Ike's eyes, there is a talon head there that you need to look in the 1971s. The especially, I don't know if you can see it. It's the talon head error. That's a fun, uh, fun, uh, a fun error to to find. Anyhow, but uh, yeah, that's for another video. So no more silver here. Nope. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what else. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bunch. I don't see anything. Do you see something? Nope. Nothing, right? Nope. Oh, chocolate? No, this is not. Anyhow. Ugh, okay. Let's see what do we have here. 
and basically that's what you do when you coin roll hunt x uh i see oh i see something but i think it's fake uh, definitely it could be fake i don't know or, or maybe it's another uncirculated business strike i already saw that one can you see it yeah uh, i saw from the side and it's a bicentennial now the edge looks mysterious I could suspect that it's a plated Ike. Sometimes people play them silvery and it's not silver. But because we have the two 1971 blue Ikes, maybe this is the uh, red pack on circulated business strike by Centennial Minset that came with the, I think, the uh, Kennedy half dollar and the quarter bicentennial silver 40 percent you know what this is not from the red pack this looks this looks proof like if it's a proof bicentennial this one used to come on the navy mean sets navy color mean sets uh, proof proof mean set silver proof uh, let me see. Nope. It's a D. <laughs> see, I think... Yeah, there you go. It's a sticking to the magnet. Only because that little stickiness is when they play them. This is a good fake. So, somebody polished this one. Trying to appear as a proof. And then they played it on the side. It's not... A proof is not silver, it's just a wannabe silver proof by Centennial. Interesting. That is just lovely and interesting. I will need to wait the other blue packs, the other two 1971s that we found, just to confirm that they are not plated. But yeah, definitely this is a a uh, counterfeit Ike. They uh, got a bicentennial regular um, type to the Ike and then they polish it, trying to pass it as a proof and then played it. Uh, I hate those, but it's part of the, you know, that's why they call them tricky Ikes. So, yep, that's how it goes. That's the life of the coin roll hunter of Ikes. Uh huh, but yeah, right away look uh, uh plated silvery reddish and not real silver. So no more here, nothing. So so yep. Uh, oh, let me see. Oh, there you go. Look, another bicentennial type one, Philadelphia, any stone, beautiful, chunky letters. This was just was sitting there when I was going to pull it. It's in the right shape. These ones are scarce. You don't find them. Uh, you can still go to eBay and try to f buy the min sets. The 1975 min sets, they came um, about 10 to $20 for the min set. Only because of this one. That's a good find there. Anyhow, let's pull a few more. And... Uh, Let's see what else we can have here. Oh my goodness, I see something interesting there. I don't know what else, what is it, but that's a thick. That one looks real silver to me. Uh, and I think it's a Ike. It's either a silver proof Ike, definitely. I don't know if it's going to be a bicentennial or a 19... Well, the silver proof Ikes are 1971, 72, 73, and 74. This, the famous brown packs. And then in 1975 and 1976, they did the uh, silver proof on the Navy pack. And that's about it. So let's see what type of Ike and definitely this one looks silver and it should be silver 1972 oh it's not uh, proof it's the blue pack 
This is a 1972 silver lupa kike. It's the uncirculated business strike. The 1972s are the um, best condition eggs because the mint modify a lot of the ways they used to produce them. And the 1972s, you can get them cheap in 67, still great. But definitely this is a silver. You can tell this is not plated, doesn't stick at all. And it's in a right condition. So yay, uh, another. So, so far, three blue Ikes, two 1971s, one 1972, and the American Silver Eagle. And this bag is all, already a good bag. That's what you call a good bag, more than excellent. And then the the uh, 70, the Bicentennials um, Type 1P that we found, I think too, already. So, yep, there you go. But then you get greedy and then instead of Ikes, you want, you know, Morgans and P's and more American Silver Eagles. But usually that's not the norm. Usually that's the exception to the rule. And let's see. Now, if you don't hunt, uh, oh, there you go, another one. Um, the first time ever that I start um, hunting this, some fellow collectors couldn't believe it, and actually they suggest that maybe I was planting them. Uh, it took them a while to convince them that no need to plant them. This is for fun, for hobby, and yep, they were amazed that I was finding this. But yeah, again, it's a lot of work. So so far, the weight of the bag is true to it. The information that's why it was heavier and this is gonna be another 1971 blue pack Ike and 1971 S silver 40 percent there you go nice so good 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 but yeah I was saying you get greedy you want more guns and peace dollars but yes um, until you do it like in uh, um, every coin hunt if, uh, until you do it and you experience the hustle, the hard work, and sometimes luck. You can hit it. You can hit the jackpot with one box of uh, Kennedy Halves or whatever you are looking for. Uh, and that will be awesome and nobody will believe you. But usually it's hard work and it's uh, grinding. Uh, but until you, you do it and you experience everything, the hustle, the pains, and the joy, then that's when you really believe because yeah it's hard to, to believe again my friends couldn't believe it <laughs> and that's how this is part of the hobby and it is nature right to be a skeptical uh, and, and jelly sometimes we all are jelly sometimes of fellow collectors and all with time you you learn to to enjoy every information and everything that uh, they share uh, especially when it's not just to make money but for fun or to entertain or uh, educate uh, no silver here and I guess I will get two or three bundles and I will stop because again I promise that I was going to leave some for my assistant and if not I will be in trouble. Uh, nothing here. Oh, they, they are all beat up, man. Look at this. Look at this. They are all beat up. Anyhow, I, I don't want to pull them. So, two more bundles and, and I will cut the video short. I was hoping to find Morgan and Peace. I'm for sure we saw a Peace Dollar. Probably is going to be at the at the bottom of the bag maybe oh look this one is interesting uh these ones you can tell they were uh, they were doctor they were polished to try to pass them as a poor one or fair to gray because the low ball sets although i have heard that there are some uh error strikes on this one so I will need to check but the telltale 
is the edge. You can see the edge, how it's almost flat and soft. So they probably mess up this coin. Uh, if had the reading like these ones, you can tell the difference. Then probably was an, an error, like, but yeah, no luck for me in this one. They just mess up trying to pass it as a stroke through or some type of stroke error, strike error. But nope, nope. Uh, still, I sometimes double check. So this is gonna be the last bundle, I guess. No luck. I don't pull. I didn't pull a uh, Morgan of Peace. Uh, unfortunately, I was expecting to at least pull one, thinking it was full of Morgan on Peace because the way, but eh, maybe I'm wrong. And yep, no silver on this one. So unfortunately, this one looks alright. Seventy-one P. Uh, trying to find 1971 piece in almost mean state uh, is very hard. The 1971 piece is hard to find in, in good good shape. But uh, that's how it goes, the eggs. And a lot of history on this one. So there you have it. Uh, we still have a little bit over a fourth of the back. Let me pull it here so you can see. Here's the information that I was telling you earlier. Where is it? There you go. So this was a Loomis bag. And the date, 2019. And 51.78 pounds. So I still believe it should be more silver here, but I'm gonna leave that to my assistant. And, and I cannot stop <laughs> still trying to pick a wood, right? That's how it goes. Anyhow, uh, I will report if we find something else. For sure, we know there is a piece in there because we did uh, see that one when we were tossing around the back. Anyhow, I don't want to make this video any longer. Uh, let me know how this goes. If you uh, don't mind sometimes long videos or I keep it short like always. Anyhow, have a good one, have a good weekend, ultra high relief out.